you know, as we've been talking, um, you've expressed several times the idea of working together, the Republicans and Democrats working together, and your knowledge helping uh, the president. Do you feel now that, that there is going to be this kind of uh, cooperation or reconciliation? There's so much, there's been so much anger and so much conflict. Do you think it's going to change? Well, it happens in, in many presidencies. This isn't the first, but the fact that the number is a 60-40 number has certainly uh, contributed to that, you know, that head banging. So uh, I'm hopeful. I, I, what I'm sensing from people is, yes, in fact, there is a new sense of openness and cooperation. I mean, has the president met with the Republican delegation before? I don't well, think so. Well, is it in part because of your election? I think so. So your election may bring the two parties closer together. And I hope I'm on the front of the line, you know, leading the charge because we have some very serious issues affecting our, our you know, jobs, our economy. We need to be the, not only the world's military uh, leader, but also the, its economic leader. And if we're not either one of those, then we're going to have troubles. So not just for you personally, but 41 has been a good number, yes? Well, I th it's been a great number for the country. It's been a great number for the country, and I'm so I'm so invigorated to, to get down there and, and, and just work together. You know, you replaced uh, a beloved figure. Uh, he in was a great state. guy. Uh, how do you think that Senator Ted Kennedy would feel about your election? Well, <laughs> obviously. Think he'd be I, I, disappointed? Well, we had a relationship prior to this, and he was always very friendly and always would ask, who's the better singer, my daughter or me? And uh, I know when I spoke to his wife, uh, uh, she was the first person I called, and I, uh, she, was seem she was very gracious and appreciative, so I'll leave that up to, you know, if he's watching, I'll, I'll, you know, maybe I'll, uh, he'll kind of let us know how he feels. Mm -hmm. I'd like to talk a little bit about your, about your growing up, your, your youth. Um, your parents divorced when you were a year old. Each. I'm not going to cry, by the way. Okay, just. Not. How do you know I'm not going to make you cry? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really? not going to try to, Senator. Okay. <laughs> okay. Each of your parents uh, were married four times, and you described them as having a violent marriage. At one point, you talked about when you were five or six years old, having to feel you had to save your mom and your dad wasn't around very much. Difficult childhood. How did this shape you? Well, first of all, my parents were both loving, and they still are. Uh, when they were divorced, uh, I was one years old, but they were always there for me. When I referred to the, the, the violence in the home, it was with my mom's uh, husband, a couple of husbands. And I do remember getting up in the middle of the night and, you know, having to be the man of the family and come and rescue her and, and getting knocked around pretty, pretty good. And it's, it's made me appreciate um, my strong family and the fact that I have two great kids. I'm not going to cry. And, uh, and... Um, you know, I, I've learned from my parents' mistakes to do everything that they may have done wrong. In an interview uh, to the Boston Globe back in 1982, you said, sometimes I... Marion Christie, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, sometimes I think I'm being tested by a higher being. <laughs> when things are going great, I think of it as a reward from heaven. Do you still think your winning is a reward from heaven? Obviously, I was 22 years old there and, and thrust in the spotlight uh, because of uh, what I did with the Cosmo thing. Uh, I, I believe in God, and I, I, I am very thankful for, for the things that I've uh, you know, been blessed with. Uh, it, is, there, is there a higher being that's looking out for people? I hope so. I'm hopeful. The Cosmopolitan magazine. <laughs> well, it just so happens I have it. <laughs> Great, I'm sure you do. Oh, yeah, the Here good old days. You want me to sign and it? He, <laughs> do I want you? Well, it's a thought. I could, okay. then, I could then sell it for a lot. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. this is yeah. the actual picture. Yeah. It's a, it's, yeah. um, I wish I still looked like that. Well, I'm not going to ask you to prove it, but this is pretty... <laughs> This is pretty raw <laughs> stuff. Okay. It's so, Cosmo, 1982 Cosmo. Let's I, not get carried away here. Yeah, yeah. but that's okay. But um, at the economic conference in Davos, some of the foreign leaders that just took place last week were referring to you as that nude magazine guy. <laughs> so, were you worried or are you worried that this no. could make you a little bit of a joke? No. I was 22 years old. My, my grandmother saw it. She laughed. You know, you have to have, to sense, have to have a sense of humor about yourself. It was Cosmo. It wasn't Playgirl. It was Cosmo. You know, being uh, Burnt Reynolds, Arnold Schwarzenegger, John Davidson, David Hasselhoff, um, also did it, and I'm the the only um, non you know famous person who did it back then. What would you say if one of your daughters came to you and said, "Dad, I want to pose nude"? 
Well, uh, I would uh, leave it up to their discretion. I don't think that's in the, in the cards. You know, some women have said to me, uh, if a woman did a nude centerfold spread, even if it was more than 20 years ago, they're not sure that she would be elected senator because there's a double standard. What do you think? I think if someone's qualified, regardless of what they did in their youth, we all make mistakes. I'm not perfect. And do I regret doing that? No. Because if I hadn't done that, I never would have been sitting here with you. It's all connected. So is there a double standard? I hope not. Uh, if someone's qualified to do the job, they should be able to do it regardless of what they've done in their past. Let's talk about your daughters and that victory speech. And just in case anybody who's watching throughout the country, yes, they're both available. No, no, no. <laughs> you said that they were both available. Oh, yeah, I'll bet. I'll bet. Well, one isn't available. No, but, no. Her but, boyfriend was mad at me, but uh, she, she's good. Did, good. But your daughter, uh, Ayla, was a contestant on American Idol yes. in 2006, at which time Simon Cowell described her performance as... Robotic. Ro you remember, robotic sure. and empty. Yeah. Here is your chance. What would you like to say to Mr. Cowell? I'd love, love to have, him on, uh, have him have her on the show again because uh, she's grown as well. She was 17 and she had never even put on makeup until she walked in the American Idol studios. So you're asking him to please give her another chance? I'd love him to get together and, and, uh, and have her get on Idol again. I think it would be great for her, it would be great for the show, and it would let, let people know that uh, there's life after Idol, sure. Well, there we go. We'll see if we get an answer for him. Ayla actually respects Simon greatly uh, about his, his critiquing, even though he's kind of harsh. What he says, if you actually listen to what he says, it was right. Senator, I have one final question. You and this beloved truck. About 202,277 miles. And the thing runs great, too. I haven't had any trouble with it. Will you be getting a new truck? I think I'll eventually have to. I know American products are really good, but uh, they eventually do wear out. I'm going to bring it down to Washington and, and, and use it as, as long as I can. <laughs> it's a great truck. It, I, I live in this thing. It's days unnumbered. It's, I, I, I mean, yeah. I change in it. I sleep in it. I eat in <laughs> it. It's, it's, it's who I am. It's, it's, I'm just, you know, I, I, I never thought the truck would be such a national symbol of, of uh, freedom. I appreciate you doing this with us. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you.